Beloved Masters, first of all, we wish to clarify what ascension is not. At your present state of evolution, ascension of the physical body along with your soul self will only be possible for a few very advanced avatars that have opened the path for humanity's ascension into the next level of higher consciousness. The beloved Jeshua, along with many great avatars in the angelic realm, set the stage and planted the cosmic seeds of creator light in preparation for this extraordinary process. In order to ascend in the physical vessel at this time, you would have to almost complete the transformation of your physical body into frequencies of divine light, and raise the harmonics of your soul song to those of the highest planes of the fifth dimension and above. It is wishful thinking to assume that it is possible to transmute the density of a third or fourth dimensional physical body into a fifth dimensional vessel of light in one lifetime. You, the vanguard, the star seed, are supplying the fuel, adamantine particles of light, to activate the seeds of ascension, which were planted on earth over 2000 years ago. Humanity is in a purification stage, in preparation for a much greater expansion of consciousness which is affecting more and more souls as it sweeps the earth and accelerates exponentially as a result. At the present stage of evolutionary change, the physical bodies of the aspirants or disciples on the path are in the process of being infused with the transforming power of Creator Light. The cells of higher consciousness are awakening and bursting forth with the alchemical formula of transformation. You are in the process of cleansing your auric field of a major portion of the negative or distorted vibrational frequency patterns which have dimmed your auric light and have resulted in the manifestation of all the miscreations within the physical vessel. Locked in the cellular body are toxins, which must be released or refined so that you may integrate the harmonious frequencies of your multi-level bodily structure once more. The light body cells have been dimmed, just as the auric field has become foggy and congested with negative energy. The God Cells are still present and functioning within you, however, they have just diminished and dimmed over time from a lack of nourishment. It is as if you have constantly been fed contaminated food, which over a long period of time will destroy the bodily vessel. The Ego Desire Body is cunning and persistent, and it will constantly nudge you toward seeking more and more bodily sensations and self-indulgence, often with disastrous results. You must understand. The different parts of your body resonate to a great variety of frequency patterns, depending on the spin and purity of your chakra system. You should always strive for maximum harmony within each level of your higher self that you integrate. Do not forget that ascension is a never-ending process, for all levels of creation have an inborn desire to seek and attain the next higher level of consciousness. Consider the notion that humanity is experiencing four realities at once, physical, mental, emotional, and astral. In the physical or material world, where your body and physical senses are the major focus, your state of health determines how interactive you are in the world of physicality, and how much you will enjoy the experience. Your progression into the higher realms of consciousness is a gradual awakening process, whereby you awaken to the nudging or wisdom of your soul and immediate higher self or oversoul. As you step onto the path of enlightenment, you initiate the process of developing a conscious or mindful awareness. You must first focus on the physical aspects of your being, your physical vessel, the chakra system, your emotional nature and your mental capabilities. Gradually, over time, as you balance, harmonize and integrate a certain degree of unity consciousness within your physical state of being, you are ready to access the vibrational patterns, the wisdom, attributes and abilities of the higher fourth and lower fifth dimensional realities. This is the basic process that we sometimes call ascension in consciousness. You have an etheric body which contains a complete, authentic replica of your physical, mental and emotional bodies. When you transcend or leave your body, the silver cord, as it is sometimes called, is severed. At that time, you totally vacate the physical vessel, which immediately begins to disintegrate. What will remain is the shell of the subtle body, which is composed of astral emotional and mental substance which must be dissolved before the soul can proceed to the next level of conscious awareness. We have explained before how the unawakened souls are taken to special places, which could be called intensive care units whereby, 
via the beautiful angels of mercy, the love, or light of the Creator is continuously radiated to and through each soul's auric field until the negative shell of misqualified energy is completely transmuted. However, it is important that you understand that the death or transition, after life process has changed radically. No longer does any soul go into the dense astral planes to await their turn to reincarnate on the earth. If you are a self-conscious person whose soul song resonates to the higher fourth or lower fifth dimensions or higher, you are automatically taken to the appropriate plane where everything seems much like the reality you left behind only much grander, more beautiful, and more joyful, loving and peaceful. You will go through the gates of the heavenly realms totally aware. You will review your past life as an observer, and you may say farewell to those near and dear to you, however, they will slowly fade into the background unless they are members of your immediate soul family. Again, the frequencies you project or resonate to will determine which dimension or subplane dimensional level you will be taken to, and also which levels of cosmic information you will be able to access. Your auric field is like a cloak that surrounds your etheric or astral bodies, and it is either a cloak of light or a shroud of negative, inharmonious energy that you have accumulated over your many past lifetime experiences. You are composed of units of energy, mental, emotional, physical, astral, and spiritual. You must learn and accept the fact that you are a creation of forceful energy, an original spark of divine consciousness. As a self-conscious co-creator, you are also a director of energy via your own forceful thoughts, actions, and intentions. You exist in a whirlwind of energy, energy forces comprising either primal life force substance, the half-spectrum light of the lower dimensions, or the wondrous, all-encompassing adamantine particles of creator light from the higher realms of consciousness. Your mental state of mind and the quality or resonance of your emotional nature determine the outcome of your creative endeavors. As a CEO creator, you will mold and manifest your creative ideas or thoughts, and then you must experience the resulting manifested expression of your thoughts and actions so state the universal laws. You are to become an efficient director of cosmic energy forces. So become a conscious observer as you practice detachment from within your sacred heart center. Do not allow yourself to be pulled into a vortex of negative energy created by others. Learn to stand firm and in control, as you gradually become the director of all of your sacred energy. Do not allow anyone to disturb your serenity and harmonious nature. However, please remember, if you do occasionally have a human moment, stop and take a deep breath and return to center, as you send forth a burst of violet flame to transmute and dissolve any discordant energy. You are sometimes too harsh in your judgment of self. Perfection is not expected, dear hearts. The radiance of your higher, Oversoul self gradually penetrates and permeates your physical and emotional bodies, thereby gradually releasing any accumulated negative, astral debris. The combined light of the Oversoul of all humanity is gradually dissolving the contaminated, distorted vibrational patterns of the astral planes. In the past they have been called the collective consciousness, the negative thought patterns of humanity. Love, serenity and joy are the primary qualities of the Oversoul. Most people's thoughts are generally random and without focus. Lowering the frequencies of your brain waves or learning to maintain an alpha state of consciousness provides a sharp focus of your ongoing thought processes and gives clear direction to the subconscious mind. The alpha mastery techniques are a profound and powerful tool. Your conscious thinking mind comprehends, but it is your subconscious mind that processes the incoming information and takes action. Becoming an alpha master and maintaining the appropriate alpha level of consciousness, will allow you to speak to and interact with your subconscious mind. It goes beyond willpower as you develop the ability to communicate directly with your deep, instinctive inner mind and your sacred mind. You will find yourself naturally making the best decisions and taking the right action to achieve your goals. The ascension process begins when your soul self has resumed its proper position as director of the physical, mental, and emotional self. It is as if an ignition switch has been turned on within your DNA, which contains the blueprint for your perfect Adam or Eve Cadman light body. A series of latent encodings are activated via the higher frequencies of light that you have begun to integrate. 
These light vibrational patterns contain specific encodings of color and harmonics which will affect all the cells and organs within the bodily form. Gradually, the cells will begin to absorb and metabolize the light, and these light-bearing cells will begin to permeate and affect the entire physical vessel. The transmutation process is then initiated whereby toxins, emotional trauma, painful memories and experiences stored throughout the body will begin to surface, thereby creating a multitude of uncomfortable physical symptoms, aches and pain in various parts of the body, flu-like symptoms, headaches, confusion and temporary memory loss, to name only a few. The next level of auric field reconstruction involves the emotional body and the astral planes of consciousness. As your physical body evolves, it becomes capable of integrating more and more refined frequency cells of light. Your fourth dimensional reality becomes more fluid as it shifts and changes frequencies, therefore, your illusional world becomes distorted and confusing. Your religious belief structure may begin to fall apart, leaving you feeling vulnerable and without guidance or direction. There is a higher self merge at this point, whereby the oversoul facet of your higher self, which has resided within your soul star, the eighth chakra, begins to send impulses or beams of higher frequency light packets into your sacred mind, sacred heart and the entire chakra system. These beams activate your intuitive abilities. They also contain vital information for your greater understanding of who you truly are, and they may also activate a divine discontent within. Your diamond core god cell is now integrating more and more god light, which activates and increases the power of the rays of God consciousness within your sacred heart core. This process is programmed within your divine blueprint, and it is also encoded within your DNA. By this time, your cells have begun to respond to the light as it becomes the main source of life-giving energy. This is the major reason aspirants on the path often radically change their diets to less dense food for their physical and emotional bodies are being saturated with adamantine particles of light the food of the gods. As you move deeper and deeper into the realms of refined light, the physical senses may become enhanced, and your awareness of colors and sound will increase. The magnification of the physical senses means the cells within your auric field are beginning the task of clearing the dense, restrictive energy that has built up over many thousands of years. The foggy prison that has dulled the senses, and has kept humanity in bondage, is gradually being bathed in light cells. This will result in the auric field becoming more radiant as more and more souls awaken to the divine potential within. The physical body must gradually be reintroduced to the transformative effects of the living light in order to reclaim the original light body form that was designed for all humanity. Beloveds, cast not your eyes on the chaos and destruction that are rampant on the earth at this time. Live each day centered within your sacred heart so that you may integrate into your physical vessel the maximum amount of creator light and you then joyfully send forth that precious gift down into the core of the earth, and out into the world of form. Know that the joint efforts of the world servers around the planet are making a difference. We are a force for the greater good that cannot be denied. I am forever your faithful guardian and protector. I am Archangel Michael.